Hey everyone, this is Kat, and today I'm going to do the uh, summary on my uh, most recent set of videos for TSM. Basically going to summarize a couple of the things that I've already talked about. So, for this, uh, this one here, I'm going to explain uh, the crafting queue. The crafting queue is populated according to the crafting operation rules you set up previously. Here you can see that I've set mine up to restock five, so if I have the mats, it will only craft five of them. A maximum of five, so anywhere between one to five. If you have, if you already have these items in your bags or your bank, it will ignore the rule and it won't queue the item. <laughs> All right. Let's discuss the material needed. TSM shows you all the material you need to craft the items. So, for instance, oh, already have it up. So, if you have the mats, it'll show you here the material that you need. The material listed in green you already have. One second. So you can see down here the numbers will be in green if you already have it type thing. Alright. The material shown in yellow it'll show in yellow if it's incomplete. And you'll need to acquire more to complete all crafting notes. The material listed in, listed in red is out of stock and you'll need to gather more either from the auction house or to literally gather the material. So, profit and lost. Uh, you'll notice that if I were to craft all these items, since I don't have the mats, it won't show you my estimated cost and profit. But if I were to craft all these items and sell them at the price described in my posting operation, I would probably make a loss, depending on how much it is. So, why is that? The reason is that I'm crafting all these items regardless of profitability. If you remember, I told TSM not to set a minimum profit in the crafting operation. Therefore, it includes unprofitable items in the crafting queue. Another reason is that the material cost at this point in time may be too high. Remember we set this in the default crafting uh, option section of the configuration. In the example above, I'm using the market value of material which may be too high. Here are some options. Number one, set a minimum profit in the crafting operation. So. either 5 gold or 125% crafting to exclude unprofitable items. So we're gonna go with 125%. Tell it okay. Um, Alright, that won't work, so try 5 gold. Alright. You can adjust the de default material cost method, DB min market instead of DB market. DB min market. It won't let me do that. Okay. Buying cheap material. To craft at a profit, you often need to be looked on the lookout for cheap material. <clears throat> Alright, so let's say, for example, you regularly buy frostweed at 75% of the market price. This won't be reflected in your general material cost. You know you should be crafting at a profit, but TSM is telling you that you're making a loss. To reflect this, you have two choices. And uh, TSM again. So, 
Your two choices would be to include the AVG by operator in your default material calculation. That would actually be underneath your... You would click options, click crafting, and then you would find that here. So we want to include... See if this will work. There we go. So I was able to include the AVG buy in there. And then number two, to directly adjust commonly used material to reflect your cheap purchases. So that's the stuff here. Before this gracious court, now appear these prisoners to answer for the multiple and grievous savagery. In my next video, I will actually show you all how that works. Objection, Your Honor. In the year 2036, the new United Nations so, I hope you all enjoyed my video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit like. This is a quarter of the year 2079, by which time more on the video and share the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.